Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Today we're going to be talking about the Colt Navy, or also known as Navy Revolver in Red Dead Online. Now this gun is based off the Colt Model 1851 Navy. It's a 36 cap and ball revolver. Same as the Lamat. Lamat was a 42 and 36 caliber. French design model by Jean Lafayette Lamat, or everything Le Lamat. And that gun is also a piece of shit in real life because it will blow up in your fucking hand. Now anyway, to get talking about the Colt Navy, it shoots six rounds, it's black powder, and the conversion models would shoot a 38 Colt. Now, the first uh, metallic cartridge used in versions of the Colt Navy used the third conversion model revolver, a design that... Yeah, yeah you better fucking run, Boyle. Anyway, it also, which... Uh, which was a conversion design that will not require a cylinder with cylindrical chambers to infringe on the rolling white pattern, which is something else entirely. A small number of these were converted, of 1851 navies were converted to that, about 1500 max, using front loaded, slightly tapered cartridges to fit the chambers, hence the 38. Now, these guns, everyone wants to say they're overpowered, and they kind of are. Uh, I feel like the loading time is a little, the fire rate is a little much, and the damage and accuracy, well damage and accuracy are understandable, but I think they could probably nerf it, make it longer to reload in a way, because it's black powder. You literally, when you're loading black powder, for those who don't know how you load black powder, you literally, instead of doing this, instead of just doing this and hitting that lower level lever to load it, I mean you do that when you load the gun itself actually. You do that, and when you're loading it, it tends to, what you actually do is you tend, when you're actually reloading them, what people, most people do, most who are known to do it, they would carry multiple of those kind of revolvers, like Jesse James, and like Bushwhackers, and uh, Jayhawk and shit, and like the American Civil War, like Cavalry, and Pars and Unions and shit, they would carry multiple pistols on, because it would take a really long time to reload those kind of revolvers and stuff. Now... The Colt Navy, in-game, it does the same reload as the mat, and you just pull, pull the lever down and it, you empty out the round, then you put another one in it. it. It's pretty much a simplified version of actual loading. The actual loading, you have to put paper cartridge down, you have to put some black powder in it, you gotta put the ball in it, you gotta load it, you gotta put the paper nip and the nipples on it, and not that kind of nipple. I'm talking about loading nipples for the black powder, because black powder, you have to have loading nipples that can ignite the primer for the bullet. Now. Like I said, the best way to nerf it would be to increase the reload time and maybe nerf the fire rate because it's a single action and it does somewhat more damage. Now, honestly, if anything, it probably shouldn't be as accurate as the Schofields and maybe they can nerf the fucking fire rate. Damn, there goes my fucking bottle cap. Son of a bitch. But, like I was saying, it has a higher fire rate than the Schofield and the Catalan, which wouldn't really make much sense because both of those guns are 45 caliber revolvers and they use cartridges. And they also, also, if anything, the most hot, more accurate gun out of the two should either be a toss up between the Schofield, which sure may have a slower fire rate than the Catalan, but it should increase with more damage because it's 45 Smith and Wesson, it's a bigger than the 45 Colt in a way. Uh, the 45 Colt actually should be as accurate and as powerful as the Colt Navy itself, you know. But Rockstar didn't do that. They decided to make the Cattleman a balanced starter gun, which is understandable because if you had the Cattleman as it actually was, it would be walloping motherfuckers, pretty much. I mean, you still wallop people with it online. It's a good gun. If you're, like, fighting lower levels, I say, like, you're level 200 and you're fighting, like, a posse, a couple goods, you're, like, level 80, level 70, maybe 100, a couple, level one, two, one level 200, maybe level 100 or two, and they're coming at you, you got two cattle ones. yeah, you could probably beat them, but if you're going to be fighting high levels and shit, you're either going to be using the double actions, the cattle, or the uh, Colt navies here, if you put the longer barrel on, there you go, the Colt Walker, uh, yeah. Or whatever, the, or one of the pistols, use the Mauser semi. So I will go entirely onto that in a different episode of why those guns are actually somewhat OP. They're not fully OP, they're modern weapons, so they're kind of, I would have to go fully more into detail with that. But, yeah, the Colt Navy, it definitely is a little overpowered. It's kind of like a 50 cal for a pistol, or a revolver anyway. But, if they were going to actually fix it, they could nerf the fire rate, maybe, tweak it a little. 
maybe nerf the accuracy a little bit. I mean, they're close quarter guns. They're fucking, you're going to charge on horseback. You're going to be like Josie Wales with them fuckers. You're going to pull out like four or five of them, just fucking hammer on them. That's the only way you would be practical to see if using them in modern. Sure, you have the cartridge conversions of the time using the Thera Rollins patent or the Rollins White patent. Uh, but those were rare. Uh, yeah, this gun, Colt Navy, it kind of needs to be nerfed. It really does need to be nerfed. It's too OP. Somewhat OP. Anyway, I'd like to thank Kid Colt for this because he asked me to do a quick little video. I, I told him I would. And anyway, though, could you put that away? yeah, Colt Navy is somewhat OP in terms of damage and reload time. That's probably about it. And then, well, yeah, so it doesn't really make sense for it to be more, to have more actually damage than the Cattlemen's or the Schofields. I mean, double actions and maybe makes sense. But if anything, Rockstar should try to go for a more, a little, slightly more historical variation of those kind of guns and make them as accurate as they were in actual reality because that would make more sense. I think it would balance out PvP a lot in Red Dawn. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Good luck out there. And, uh, Tiak Thrones or Fane Margaret Thatcher!